Fun fact, I have never tried Chick-fil-A before. I know, I know, I'm living under a rock. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or what's up? My name is Kayla, if you are new. As you can tell by the title, today we are going to be doing a mukbang Q&A, but not just any mukbang Q&A. We're doing a Chick-fil-A mukbang, and fun fact, I have never tried Chick-fil-A before. I know, I know, I'm living under a rock, but honestly, there isn't one close to me, and I had to drive a half hour to get here, and I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused on what's going on because there's like a long line, there's a cone situation, and there's like employees standing outside. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's going on. Honestly, this whole parking lot area, the Starbucks included, it's just, it's confusing over here and your girl is struggling, okay? But anyways, I'm super excited to try Chick-fil-A today and answer your guys' questions. Now, your girl has been working out and losing some weight and whatnot, and I honestly haven't had any fast food or anything in such a long time, so this is gonna be a really nice treat. So, your girl's gonna try to back out of this parking lot. How am I supposed to back out of here? There's someone behind me, as you can see. Like, I cannot back out. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, there we go. Yes, and I feel like this is a one way. I got timed. Now the lighting's super bright. What's going on? Anyways, nope, you're gonna have to wait, sir. Sir, you can go on the side of me. No, you can go. You can fit. What's going on? She didn't have to do that, but thank you. Okay, what is the deal with the parking lot? I'm assuming they take your order at the car. Okay, this is so freaking confusing. Drive through curbside, DoorDash. Chick-fil-A drive through I'm confused. Look at this madness, you guys. There's cones and everything. Like, I'm so confused. So confused. I don't know if I need a mask they're like at our car I don't even know what where's the menu though I don't have a menu I don't know what to order I've never been here this is insanity right now is this how all chick-fil-a's are this is not a fun experience as far as the drive-thru goes we've got a loud truck behind me I'm not sure oh How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Can I get a name started for this order? I'm um, Kayla. Alright, what can I get started for you today, Kayla? Gosh, I've never been here before. Oh, okay, really? so yeah, I know, All crazy. Right. Um, can I do the chicken nuggets? Yeah. The, the meal. Um, just the fries, not the tray. Okay. Did you want the eight or twelve count? Let's do eight. Anything else? Um, can I just get a like uh the Chick-fil-A sauce? Honey mustard and the barbecue. Yeah. Anything else? Um, and small, the size small if, for the fry anyway. Alright. Does it automatically come with the waffle fries? Well, it doesn't, but I can add it to it. Oh, what does it come with? If you do a meal, it comes with fries and a drink, but if I just do the entree, it's just the nuggets by themselves. So you can't get just the fries and the nuggets? No, you can't. I, no, it, so I can do them separate entrees. It just Oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Okay. All right, so the eight can I get a small fry? Yes. The Chick-fil-A sauce, the honey mustard, and barbecue. Yes. All right, tells me seven or four. This is the cash or card. Um, I have a card. All right. I can have you swipe it for me. Like this? Yes. All right, you're good to go. Have a great rest of your Awesome, day. thank you. Thank you. This is a nightmare to get through here. I don't like this drive through whatsoever. It's a two lane system thing, kind of like they do at McDonald's. Now, I don't know if they're taking your order at your car like that because of COVID, but if anything, I feel like they're almost too close, if that makes sense. I don't know, that's just kind of weird. My car probably smells like weed too. Like, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, 
I'll be thinking, dang girl, you know. Anyways. <laughs> oh. But there's like 12 of them out here. It's insane. I feel like they make things more difficult than it needs to be. And the kitchen must get flooded. You guys, I used to work fast food in the kitchen, drive through, all of that stuff. And to get multiple freaking orders like that from tw like 12 different computers, I couldn't even imagine. Thank you. Thank you. I think she's going to come to my car. Hi there. Was it for Kayla? Yeah. And you had the eight count nuggets, your place sauce, honey mustard, barbecue, and small fries. Correct. Would you take your receipt? Um, yes, please. How's your day going? Good. How are Good. you? Do you guys do the order stuff like this because of COVID, or is this how it's always? I've never been here before. Always. Oh, really? Wow. I feel like I don't know. I used to work fast food, and I feel like it'd be more diff. Is it more difficult than yeah, I feel I like it would be? Chick-fil-A does it like that, like the one in Linwood. Uh huh. Um, they always had it like this even before COVID. That's so strange to me. Yeah. It's like a bit extra, but. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, see, she agreed. The mask, I'm like over it. I'm over the fucking mask. Anyways, your girl got her nails done. We're no longer looking ratchet. My... So I'm super excited about their ice situation because I'm almost positive that they have the little cubed ice, the perfect ice ever. Um, because that's what's advertised on their menu. And they can't false advertise, that's just rude. And then there's someone standing outside of the window to hand you the food. Like, what is going on? The absolute insanity is like on one. Someone handed her the food that was inside the window to someone who was outside the window to then hand it to the car. Like, what is going on? And ask them for a cup. It probably costs money. Great, how are you? Can I get a cup of ice? Does it cost anything? Oh, no, you're oh okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You too. There's two of them. You see that? Two of them standing outside. Now we gotta find somewhere to park. Let's park. Oh, perfect spot. I think I found. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, everything smells so good. I need to do a thumbnail. Okay, that'll have to do. Okay, let me look at the ice. Yes, it's like sonic ice, you guys. Oh my God. Now the reason why your girl got a cup of ice is because we bring our own drinks around here. Like why pay more? It was 704 and your girl used a gift card. So today's little meal was free. You know what I'm saying? We love a free sitch. So um, let's pour this magicness in this. We have to hear this. Whoops. Um, this is like one of the best sounds in the world besides like coffee in the morning. What is my deal? Yeah, that sound, it got all over my, damn it. And I just like cleaned out my car. I wonder if you could buy bags of Chick-fil-A ice. I feel like they should do that. Let's get in to, oh my God, I've never, it smells really good. Okay, the fries are a little small, but that's okay. Your girl's on a diet and doesn't need much. So, um, yeah, and I'm honestly not even that hungry. My shake that I had, the, not shake, my smoothie that I had this morning, it still makes me full, so cute little box let's see what these look like oh. oh 
ho, 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 ho. Look at that goodness. I am freaking stoked. And you already know I didn't ask for ketchup. God damn it. Oh well. That's okay. I got a honey mustard. I got a barbecue. And then I got the Chick-fil-A sauce. I'm not sure what these taste like. Anyways, let me pull up my questions so we can get I'm all over the place. Ah, my sauce. Um, okay, I'm making sure it's still recording. Okay, first I feel like we should try this stuff because this is a mukbang. I'm not sure what this Chick-fil-A sauce is. I'm kind of nervous. Scoot up. Short girl problems. What is this, honey mustard? Chick-fil-A sauce. Um, it's okay. It's not the best. Their fries are fire. Their fries are fire. Let's try. Chicken nugget. Oh yeah. Okay, the sauce is really good with the chicken nuggets. And I love the styrofoam cup. Yeah. First question. Love your vlogs. You are such a sweetheart. You are so real and relatable. Plus you're gorgeous. Thank you. My question is when you are filming at the store, do people ever get rude with you? Um, kind of. I've had issues in the past with like places like Target or like Old Navy and H&M be like, you can't film in here with like an attitude you know but people aren't necessarily rude to me because I'm filming they're just rude people in general um do I get dirty looks and people staring at me all the time every single time like every single time without fail you just have to like block it out a lot of people ask me like how I vlog in public like why aren't I not embarrassed to vlog in public? You make it seem so easy. Um, well, that's because I honestly don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care what you, 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 or you think. I want to do what I want to do, and I put off doing YouTube for so long because of that reason. So, when I finally started, I was like, I'm not going to let these people who I don't even give two shits about to make me feel some type of way about what I want to do. I just ignore them. I act like they're not even here. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, next question <laughs> or comment thing is, I have so many questions, LOL. Have you always lived in Washington? No. I have not always lived in Washington, but we always have come back. Me and my family love Washington State. I think Washington State is one of the best states in America just because it has everything you could ever want. It's got the mountain scenery. It's got the good weather. It's got all seasons. It's got the city life. It's got the country. Like, it's got everything. Basically, no matter what you're into, Washington has it for you. And weed is legal here, so that's pretty cool. It didn't used to always be that way, clearly, but um, yeah. And then she had another question. Have you visited outside the US? Um, I've been to Canada a couple times. I've also been to like St. Martin and like the Caribbean area I'm on a cruise. And I believe that's it. I, I think that's it. I know, not very exciting, but, um. And her next question is, where did you and Derek meet? So I'm assuming that you're a new subscriber. Hi, hello, welcome. Um, Derek and I actually met in high school. We had quite a few classes together. We always kind of saw each other around. Now, Derek and I never really talked. He was in a couple of my group projects, but nothing crazy. Um, 
yeah so that is how Derek and I met then her next question is what is your dream job my dream dream job is to do YouTube slash social media full-time but then kind of like umbrella it and create not a clothing company but just really cute merch i mean i guess if i could take it there and have like cute home decor like kitchen towels and like bath mats and shower curtains I have a podcast um like that is my dream job you guys i haven't even been eating what is my deal um to work with brands that i know and love and meet you guys and that is my dream job and she said i love your videos at the end of that so cute thank you so much for your question next question is love your videos thank you my question is do you want to get a pet someday also do you have a bff that you hang out with a lot <laughs> Um, so I answer the pet one. Yes, we do plan on getting a pet um, probably around the fall winter time um, We really do want to get a cat. Um, we just don't have the time for a dog and Like our backyard isn't really fenced. We don't have the space for a dog and honestly dogs are a lot of work We're more cat people and yes um, We've already thought about names and things like that and yeah, we're not in any rush We're just kind of waiting for the perfect opportunity to Present itself and then the other question she had was do you have a BFF that you hang with a lot? So, I feel like a lot of you guys ask this, and I get it, like, it's nice to get a little switch up as far as having more people in a video, but to be honest with you, you guys, like, I don't have friends like that. I mean, I talk to a lot of you guys on here. I do talk to, like, people that I used to hang out with all the time. Now, I do have like a handful of people that I could be like hey you want to go get a cup of coffee and like we go and do that um but it's not on a regular basis by any means the person that I hang with all the time and that I consider my best friend is my mom um she's seriously like one of the coolest people I know um me and her have such a good relationship I feel like I can tell her everything and it wasn't always that way so I just really cherish my mom I love her to death now, the reason why I don't really have her on camera much is because she's not really about that life you guys well, you guys I barely show Derek on my channel and that's for one because he's always working and for two he's shy too and doesn't have social media he doesn't have an Instagram he does have a Facebook but he doesn't even ever long on you guys Derek doesn't even have a phone He's so off the grid, and honestly, I love it. Honestly, their fries are like the best fries that I've ever had at any like fast food place. They're fire. I have heard that the their barbecue sauce is fire too. Or I have heard that their spicy chicken sandwich is a game changer. Okay, next question. What is your most embarrassing body image slash self-confidence memory and does it still affect you very good question um i've mentioned before and a lot of you guys are new so again welcome thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel um i'm so happy you guys are enjoying my content but i have mentioned before that i have always had a problem with self-confidence with body image with being overweight i used to be a size 22 and it was just really hard especially when you're young but I still remember the first time and it was like yesterday you guys like I still remember and it's the moment that really crushed me it was just it was very traumatic and it was embarrassing and I'll take you guys back in time so I was in sixth grade Miss Branson's class at portable six okay and I was still like confident at this age. I was a little overweight for my age, maybe a little bit over. No, I was overweight for my age, but I also had boobs at this age, okay? A lot bigger than all the other girls in my class. And I got made fun for it. I got made fun of for my hair, just all kinds of stuff. There was a kid in my class named Steven, this little 
punk and I honestly don't even know why I like had a crush on him or thought he was cute or whatever but he was like that skateboarder type like class clown sixth grade like just obnoxious little fuck to be honest with you and so one day I was like you know what I'm gonna write a letter to him and ask him out it's very big in middle school like writing notes passing notes like will you be my boyfriend slash girlfriend but like you guys meet on the playground like it was nothing serious and I passed him a note and the innocent child in me thought okay he's gonna read this to himself and write me back like a nice little boy that he's not and he read the letter and turned around and of course got his friend's attention they all all turned around he looked directly at me and was like ew I would never date you you're fat and I'm not even kidding you guys it ruined me it crushed me and I held it together I did not cry but I wanted to cry with everything in me but it was just very embarrassing. His friends laughed. It was like a big whole ordeal. I actually never like told my mom that. So hello mom. Um, yeah, I just, after that I became immediately shy. I always saw myself as fat and I really started eating like for comfort. I, I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was bad and it just wasn't good. So, yeah, a little story time. Next question. What is the key to happiness slash positive marriage? How do you and Derek keep the spark alive? Ooh, kind of a, a nice question. Okay, I think communication is so key. I think you need to choose and pick your battles. You guys need to be on the same page, and you guys got to have fun and laugh. And there has to be, like unbelievable trust there I don't have an issue with trust at all with Derek him cheating or anything like that I never from day one have never had those feelings and I used to always feel that in past relationships you shouldn't be feeling that way um, and then how do Derek and you keep the spark alive um, I would say and I don't want to make this too graphic or anything because um, my mom and maybe dad might be watching. But, um, you know, we take showers a lot together and I've never done that with anyone else. I just feel so comfortable with him. And that's another thing. You have to feel comfortable with your partner. Taking showers together is kind of cool because even if you're not doing anything in the shower, your husband still kind of feels like he's getting a show. You know what I'm saying? And you save on your water bill. Maybe. You might be in there for a long time. Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a win-win. So the verdict on Chick-fil-A, you guys, it is so good and I'm actually really, really full. I think I'm going to stop the video here. I can definitely do another one because I didn't answer all of your guys' questions. So comment down below and let me know what um, fast food place you guys would like me to do the next mukbang. I'm always open to trying new places or something a little bit more basic. Either way, I'm here for it. And comment down below if any of you guys are new and want to know any more questions. Don't be shy. I know how easy it is to kind of just watch a video and move on, but the engagement really does matter and make it such a more enjoyable experience, especially when the people that you're watching actually respond because I feel like that's so few and far between but again thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you are new to my channel and you made it this far consider subscribing before you leave I would love for you to join the fam and I will see you guys in the next video bye hey guys welcome back hey guys what's up Welcome. hey guys what is my intro even the pebbled ice really makes a girl feel bougie you already know I fucking hate this parking lot. I hate it. Sorry. Can you get out? Huh? Can you get out? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, sorry. Good. I totally clowned on the Chick-fil-A sauce, but it's clearly fire because it's like the only sauce that's basically gone. I'm going straight. Ooh, ooh. I hate fucking intersections like this. And I'm like in the road. I'm in the road for and I used to get whoops oh let me and honestly I have a bubble in my throat and it's pissing me off <coughs> anyways